Hi friends, today we're going to be reading I Wanna Go Home by Karen Kaufman Orloff and David Catro. This is part of the popular series, I Wanna Iguana and I Want a New Room. During this read aloud, I'm going to pause and ask you some questions about the book. So be sure to pause the video and answer the questions to a parent, a sibling, a pet, or even a stuffed animal. Let's get reading. Dear Alex, Ethan, and Annie, we're so glad you are coming to visit us. You'll love it here. Do you know how to play bridge? It's a card game all our friends enjoy. When you come, we can play for hours and hours. Can't wait to see you. Love, Grandma Shirley and Grandpa Ralph. P.S. Hope you like broccoli lasagna. Now this story is written in letters. Can you name the different parts of a letter? Dear Mom and Dad, I know you want me to go to Grandma and Grandpa's house while you're in Bora Bora, but here's why I shouldn't. I'll have loads more fun at Stinky's. We're gonna play soccer, eat corn dogs, and sleep in the backyard with Lurch every night. What could be better than that? Love, Boy Scout Alex. Dear Alex, your grandparents are really looking forward to having you all come. You can go to Stinky and Lurch's another time, maybe. Love, Mom and Dad. P.S. Grandma says you can bring Iggy as long as he stays in his tank. Why do you think Alex doesn't want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's? To Mom and Dad at Kids Make Us Crazy from Alex at Iguana Boy. Subject, bored at G&G's. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm at Happy Hills Retirement Community, but I'm not happy at all. Grandma dresses Annie in girly outfits and treats her like a princess. Ethan found another annoying kid his age to play with. But I am bored, bored, bored. And did I mention it's raining? I wanna go home. Signed, unhappy in Happy Hills. Dear mom and dad, you won't believe this, but grandpa doesn't have real teeth. He takes his fake ones out at night and puts them in a glass. They look like killer jellyfish. When are you coming to pick me up? Love, your nervous child, Alex. P.S. Please come get me. Hurry. Dear Alex, Bora Bora is very far away, so we can't come pick you up, but please try to have fun. Why don't you tell Grandma and Grandpa about your favorite things so they can get to know you better? In the meantime, here's a silly picture to cheer you up. Love, Mom and Dad. Dear Mom and Dad, you were wrong. I took Iggy out to meet Grandma and Grandpa because he's my favorite thing. But Grandma screamed and Iggy got so scared he ran away. Grandma stayed on top of the picnic table for three hours. We finally found Iggy up a tree. Grandpa says it's a good thing he didn't get eaten by an alligator. They live in swamps, but sometimes they visit Happy Hills. I'm gonna go look for some now. Love, Swamp Boy Alex. Dear Alex, Stop, don't look for alligators. Love, worried in Bora Bora. Why do you think that the author made all of these capital letters and put four or five exclamation points after the writing? Dear mom and dad, this will sound crazy, but grandma and grandpa don't have any video games on their computer or TV. By the way, they only have one TV, so when Grandma watches The Young and the Breakfast, Grandpa reads us stories about some guy named Peter Rabbit. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in the brains of old people. Love, still bored Alex. P.S. Tomorrow, Grandma's taking us to her square dancing class. I thought people her age didn't have to go to school. Dear Mom and Dad, did you know that when you go square dancing, you actually spin in circles? I spun Annie around so much, she flew off my arm. Love, your son who can really dance. Dear Alex, please be careful with your baby sister. She's the only one you've got. Love, your concerned parents. P.S. Tell G&G &G we'll, we will be home in a few days and to hang in there. Dear Mom and Dad, we played bingo at the clubhouse today and grandma won. She got $13.52 and gave it all to us to buy ice cream before dinner. Whoops, 
I wasn't supposed to tell you that. She said I could keep the change. Love, Moneybags Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, it's raining again, but Grandpa borrowed a soccer ball and asked me to show him a few moves around the living room. He said soccer is almost as fun as stickball, whatever that is, and he didn't realize what he was missing all these years, and he's like a hundred or something. Love, Alex, the greatest soccer coach ever. Alex is going through a change in this story. What's that change? Dear Mom and Dad, Grandpa let Annie finger paint in the kitchen and she made a huge mess. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Then we all started painting, even Grandpa. Grandma didn't get mad. She painted Grandpa's face. Now he looks just like my Captain Creepy action figure. Sometimes old people really surprise me. Love, Artistic Alex. Why is Alex feeling surprised? Dear Mom and Dad, we went to the early bird special at Moe's Diner and Grandma and Grandpa let us order whatever we wanted. Guess what I had? Corn dogs. Hope you're having good food too, Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, Grandpa said when he was a little boy, his grandpa read that same exact rabbit book to him. That's a really old book. And you know what else? He said he had a TV, but there were only five channels and they weren't even in color. Could that be true? Love, Suspicious Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, me, Grandpa, and Ethan met Grandpa's friends in the parking lot for a stickball game. Grandpa taught us. It's a lot like baseball. You should see Grandpa hit. The ball almost bo broke Mr. Fletcher's window. Love, your all-star hitter. Are you sure you want to stay an extra week, Alex? Yes, I want to stay at Grandma and Grandpa's. Please? Dear Grandma and Grandpa, thanks for a great two weeks. See you next summer. Love, Alex. That was, I want to go home. Now that the book is over, let's try to answer some questions. What happened in this story? You can use words like first, then, next, or last. What was your favorite part? You can say, my favorite part was blank because. And lastly, what is the author teaching us? You can say, the author is teaching us, or the lesson was. And here's an extra challenge. Can you write a letter to somebody? Hope you enjoyed.